it's Nick from T7 Training. We're going to have a look at how to put percentages into a column chart. So let's have a look at this example here. We'll start off with a pie chart, which is very easy to do, but then we're going to go into a column chart, which is a little bit more complicated. For a pie chart, I'm selecting the data plus the headings, and I'm going to insert and then recommend the charts. Because there's one column or one row of data, Excel offers a pie chart because pie charts require one column or one row of data. Now I'm going to press a little plus here and tick data labels and then I'm going to the little arrow out the side. I'm going to choose more options and say instead of using values I'd like you to show percentages. I'll untick values there and now we've got our percentages. Quite straightforward and of course that's dynamic, so when the situation changes, the chart changes and the percentages change as well. So let's have a look at how to do this on a column chart. On a column chart, I'm selecting the data plus the headings and I'm going to the insert tab and then recommended charts. There's no pie chart offered because we have more than one column and more than one row. So I'm going to choose a stat column in this case and then OK. I'll turn off the chart title and I'm going to turn on the data labels. But when I go to extra options and choose more options, there is no percentages being offered here. So how are we going to get those percentages into this chart? There is a way to do it. It does take a little bit of work though. So with this chart, I need to replicate the data table to create the source for the percentages. Your chart is unable to calculate those percentages itself. We need to provide the chart with the percentages. And of course, we don't want to just type these percentages in. We want them to be calculated. So equals individual portion divided by total amount. When it comes to Bob's order, four pens is the portion, 12 pieces of stationery is the total amount. And we want to format this number as a percentage. Halfway across the home tab, or if you prefer, you could use control, shift, and number five. Number five has a little percentage symbol above it, which makes it easy to remember. Equals individual portion, divided by total amount, format as a percentage. Now, if you have a lot of data, that's going to take a long time to do. So using absolute referencing is to your advantage. I won't do that here because I don't want to complicate the video. There's all my percentages. And now we need to feed these percentages into the chart. Now we need to be very careful thinking about what percentages we actually want. These pens most likely is what we want to be calculated to 100%. The percentage of this, the percentage of this, and the percentage of this adding up to 100%. Same for the pencils, same for the erasers. However, when you add the percentages in, they're going to be specifically for a series. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to press plus, data values, extra options, more options, and I'm turning on value from cells. Now, this is going to feed the data in to the labels. But if I just click and drag over this whole block, Excel doesn't know what to do with it. This block requires a single cell, a single row, or a single column. It simply cannot copy the main data structure. This is specifically for a series of data, what the colors represent, in this case, Bob. And if I put in Bob's data in here, Bob's data goes down like that, and then I click OK, you can see that's probably not going to be quite what we want, because 33% plus 25% plus 42% is going to add up to 100%. And sure enough, that's Bob's stationery broken down into pens pencils and erasers adding up to 100%, but it's much more likely that you want 100% going up this column. 
And this is not going to add to 100% because it's just whatever Bob, Mishka and Noah happen to choose of their pens. That is, in this case, 33% and 40% and 25%, which adds up to 98% in this case. So what we really need here is to switch these. I'm going to press undo a few times to go back a little bit further. And you can see here at the very top, when I click on the chart, we've got chart design. And I'm going to switch the row and the columns. So now we have Bob going up, and that's going to add up to 100% of Bob's order. And this is going to add up to 100% of Mishka's order. And this will add up to 100% of Noah's order. Pressing the plus, data labels, extra options, more options. You can see that we've got this pens series across here. So again, what the blue represents, which in this case is the pens. I'm going to tick data from cells. I'm going to select the pens row like that, the data going into the pens row, and I'm clicking OK. I'm also going to untick values. I don't really want the values in here. I probably just want the percentages, although you could have both. I'm doing the same for this series just here. I'm clicking this series. It's a single click, not a double click. A double click will bring up a format panel. A single click is going to select the whole series. And a single click followed by another single click is going to select this one label here. We don't want just the one label. We want this series of labels. The labels for the red bars. The red bars represent pencils. Ticking value from cells and feeding those pencil percentages in. And then OK. In this case, I'm unticking value. Same thing for this one, 503. This one is green. This is the erasers. I'm ticking value from cells and I'm dragging across the erasers percentage data and then clicking OK. Unticking value in this case, and you can see in this case we've got 33%, 25%, 42%, and that adds up to 100%, as you can see down the bottom here. So that's how you can put percentages into data labels in a column chart without using any add-ins in Excel. And you can do that for clustered columns, you can do it for bar charts and other chart types as well. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next 270.